Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, while well, working on my 2003 Jeep TJ that I'm doing an LS swap, obviously you would have came to this video because I picked up this tool right here, painless wiring, generation three, bench top, ECM program, pigtail, part number 60550. Because I want to try to program my computer. I have no idea what the computer belongs to, but theoretically, if I hook this up and connect my Snap-on scanner, it should identify something, but let's open up the package and have a look. So this benchtop programmer, believe it or not, is, uh, whoops, there's some instructions here. Probably pretty important. Indicator lamp will illuminate if ECM harness are hooked up correctly, but looking on the back here and These must be my wires that are just Wire straps I'm gonna have a positive in the ground here somewhere and those are what I'm gonna Plug into my power supply. That's what I got right here. So, remove the ECM plug. Here's a close up look at it. It's got a cool little check engine light there. Two leads already connected. Not a lot of wires connected at the back. So we'll plug it into my computer here. Get my snap-on scanner ready. So these things are labeled. Blue is on the bottom. Can't really screw that up because it says so. So now it's saying if it's hooked up right, the light should come on. The light is on. So I'm gonna grab my scanner now. Alright, my snap on scanner is pretty archaic, but for my purposes, it'll be good. I don't even know what the heck it is, it would be under. Be Chevrolet. Up to 2009. I managed to pull the serial number and it looks like it comes up as a 2002 Avalanche and it was programmed as a 5.3 That's what it identifies as None of these functions will work Well, that's pretty much all there is to say. I use this archaic snap-on scanner to uh, help identify what this computer is. Looks like it identifies as a 2002 Avalanche, uh, 5.3 liter. Assuming it's a 4L60. <clears throat> Gonna have to reprogram it to uh, what I need for the Jeep. Go through all the parameters, all the deletes, and. Uh, looking forward to getting this thing fired up but anyways i'm gonna get going this isn't the end of the video it is for this one but we're gonna pull this out again when we start doing some programming so uh stay tuned to that if you guys have any questions or comments post them below are some tips i'm thinking of hp tuners or do you guys think i should go like efi live or something anyways i'll talk to you guys in the next video